Hey guys, Darren here. Gonna be kind of a quick outside video. Here in Alabama, we are in the month of March. And the month of March is also, there's a scientific term for it called suck ass month because it's cold and wet. February is typically just nice and freaking cold. And then you have March, which is freaking cold and freaking wet. Hence, suck ass month month. But I did want to just kind of show you what all's going on. <clears throat> I'm out here on the back of the property. This is where we do a lot of our shooting. And uh, we've had a lot of rain. And uh, the creek is really, really up, which is great because it provides a barrier. It keeps people from uh, wandering. And believe it or not, that is right there is about probably 10 feet deep in the center now. Uh, because you see all up here is uh, two or three feet underwater now and that normally is dry so that's fantastic i really like that um everything adjusted and situated ready for spring we're going to revamp uh the shooting area because i have just about killed all of these uh targets uh that we have set up um shotgun to the water jug gets them every time uh all of my targets uh I've gotten knocked down again, so we're going to go back and uh, we're going to put them out uh, further and further back uh, just to make it a little more fun uh, to shoot. And uh, believe it or not, we bring the kids out here, show them handgun safety and firearm safety, and a lot of the kids do the uh, shooting out here. I don't shoot out here as much. I still do a lot of dry fire. I do dry fire every day uh, just to stay in practice, and then... Ah, uh, maybe pop off a hundred rounds a month with nine millimeter and twenty-two, just to uh, just to stay in practice. But it is nice to get out for a little bit. And again, we just got to get all this stuff cleaned up and uh, situated. So, more uh, I have winterized the pump and the motor. And we need to check it and make sure that everything is okay and that it did not. Uh, the pump did not freeze over during the winter, uh, but I had filled it up with antifreeze, so it should not have. In theory, it should not have, but we shall see. And looking at the pepper patches, this is where we grow all of our hot peppers, because we do a lot of pepper sauces and, and add them to our uh, the stuff that we preserve. This is all peppers, and then uh, right over there is all peppers as well. Got to do a buttload of chainsaw work with this. It's just uh, kind of stuff that doesn't end. Um, this isn't going to be a funny gun video or anything like that or, or the four-wheelers or anything like that. Although, speaking of four-wheelers, I got to uh, change a belt on it and put a new four-wheel drive uh, axle uh, knuckle on the front differential. Uh, that'll be some four or five good videos uh, doing that just to uh, help buddy. It's supposed to come down and borrow a couple of my uh, mud mowers, uh, Frank Byer take them back up to Florence so he can uh, use them. They're building a cabin on their property uh, on the way back. And uh, he doesn't have a four-wheeler and he wants to use the uh, Cub Deer and a short trailer to uh, ride out there, which would be fine. So that is about it. Oh, this is a mulberry tree. It's doing really well. I fertilized it this year. This is probably the third year I've been training it. Kicking the butt is people plant trees and just forget about them. And that was part of my apple tree video where I had to cut down a freaking apple tree that was 60 feet tall. You couldn't get to the apples. But this is a mulberry tree. Got it trained now. I'm going to cut the center uh, branches that are going up. And that will make it grow out. And uh, keep it low hanging so we can uh, well pull all the low hanging fruit. And we'll have uh, mulberry pies and everything if you don't know what a mulberry is it's like a blackberry sweeter than a blackberry no thorns it grows on a tree so you don't have to worry about snakes thanks for watching guys y'all gonna make some mayhem